my name's Judith and welcome or welcome back to my channel. What I thought I would do today is um, a little bit about skin care. It's part of the self-care routine that I was going to, to do to improve on was to, to readdress my skin care routine that I have on the morning and the night. Um, so I thought on this little video I would go through what my daily skin care regime is. Um, I thought rather than just show you the things I've got, I might actually, you know, do it as we go rather than just show you different things. I'll have to apologise in advance because I can't work out on this set and how I turn things around. So when I show you um, products that I use, it'll be um, probably back to front. But what I will do is I will put everything in the description box below that I use. This is just what I use, what I enjoy using. Um, a couple of things that I'm trying out that I'm not sure about, but when we get to that, um, I'll mention it. So I'm going to take my glasses off. I'm probably not going to be able to see who I want to take my glasses off. I'm going to take my glasses off and I'm going to start my routine. Now I've got makeup on at the moment, which I, because I've, because I've been out and about. Um, so normally this is what I'll be doing on a night initially. Um, but I will go through once I've done the initial cleansing part of it, what I will do through for the, for a daytime and then I'll mention the slight difference that there will be on a night time. Right, so here we go, I'm going to take the glasses off. <clears throat> the glamorous part. Like I said, hopefully I can see you, or I can't see you. Right, the first thing I tend to do is, when I'm taking makeup off, is I cheat a little bit. And I use these wipes to get the initial off. Now they are Nivea Biodegradable Cleansing Wipes, and they're for dry skin. And I just tend to use these initially just to get the thick of the um the makeup off although what we do trying to use is i do like to use a nose oil but i still like to get this off but just have it isn't it really both it's just you just have to have it what you like to use and what you don't like to use and i used to use these for years well, they're probably not well, it says biodegradable but in this day and age, it's, I think eventually they might stop using them. Right, so that's the initial makeup taken off. Like I say, I can't really see, so there's a cat here. Bear with me whether I've got it all up or not. Let's do the old eyes a good job for mascara. I've got pretty sensitive eyes and pretty sensitive skin. They're fine with that. Right, so I've got them over there at stage one. Now, that will be on a night time taking makeup off. Where I would start my normal morning routine is washing my face. And I love this Liz Earl Cleanse and Polish. I can't rate it highly enough. I absolutely agree. <laughs> it just makes your skin feel so clean. And um, it is obviously cruelty free as well. But I think Algae might do a one, the Lacura one. I think they do a one that's similar to this. But I've never been able to get a hold of it, so I've, I've never been able to try it. So I just stick with me as well. I must admit, all these things I tend to buy, I like to have a look to see if they're on offer. If I find them somewhere on offer, or if I'm starting to run out, I start looking for the offers and I hate buying, paying full price for anything. So stage one on the morning would be this. Pop some on. Don't need loads about that. Between your hands. Oh, it feels lovely. <laughs> oh, it feels lovely. Right, and then I haven't got a sink. I've got, I've got some hot water here in a bowl. If you can hear any background noise, it's absolutely <laughs> tipping it down here. And it'll be the Green on the sky, light roof. There we are. What? Oh, I mean, that feels lovely. And this muslin cloth that you get with it, it um, it actually if it's the next foliating, I think we do it twice. I like to do it twice. You'll find I don't take that long doing that. My routine. I don't spend hours and hours. 
Get your frock coat go up and ready. Right, that's that. Just gonna do a little dry now, pat dry. Now that feels lovely and clean and fresh. So, the next thing I do is add these oval cotton wool pads for things rather than the silly little makeup ones you get. I like these. What I like to put on my eyes is this. Now, this is Liz Earl again, Eye Bright. Now, a tip you can keep it in the fridge, and when it's really hot or if you get really badly bothered with your eyes with um, hair fever, put some on cold compress, lovely, works a treat, or if you just come over <laughs> and you need something to sort your eyes out, but I do just like to do a little gentle tone over my eyes with this. God, that's lovely. Look at that, pop it in the fridge, nice summer nights, pop it on, nice cold compress. Next thing, these are all the first these first few products are all this up. Now this. This is her instant boost skin tonic spritzer. Now you can get it in a bottle like this, or you can get it in this spray version. Um I got the spray version initially, <laughs> but what I tend to do is I just tend to buy the instant when I get it top up, I just get the um instant boost skin tonic in this bottle and fill this bottle up because this one's slightly more expensive in the front. Right, this is my toner. Very gentle. I just spray it onto the pad and I think it's a bit I don't want to see it um it needs to go a bit further. So that's my toner. Bit of a mess here, I'll just clear that up. Right, now serums. I started to add a serum into my morning skincare routine. Um, I'm trying this one first. It's number seven, lift and illuminate, triple action. Suitable for sensitive skin. Now, I've been using it. I'm not sure whether it's doing a great deal or not, but I'm going to keep plugging on. I can't say that I've noticed a great deal of difference, so I might try something else when this is finished. So I'll just pop a bit on. That's what it looks like. Spread it out. Right, so that's that. I'll put that on. Then what I tend to put on while this is there uh, is drying because it tends to have a little bit of a sticky feel to it initially. I love this. This is Avon and it is it's like a lip serum really. You can get coloured versions of it. This is the plain, I know it looks a bit weird, it's a turquoise colour, but it really hydrates my lips. I really do like it. It's clear when it goes on. I am thinking about, um, I've got a couple of samples of the coloured versions because I 
sometimes when you're just out and about, you just want a little bit of colour on your lips, but you don't want like full makeup. So I found one colour that I like, um, the Ewan Rose. I think I've got all the little bit little samples that you could get with it. I'm thinking about ordering some of that, but I like to keep this in. I do like it. Right, next thing. Eyes. Avon again. I mean, I'm quite fortunate. My eyes aren't too hooded. They are. They're not too hooded. They're not dropping down too much. And I don't have lots of cracks and wrinkles under here. But I think I like to just keep something, you know, to find it watered off. So this is the new Lifting Jewel Eye System from Avon. Again, I do like it. Inside there are two sections. You can see that. Giving away in this. Now this gel like one goes up here and the cream goes up the eye. I'll just put that on. So a little bit of fingers. I'm hoping that I'm doing this by touch because I can't really see it. I'm not see it. I don't know. Right, so that's that one. As you can see, I, I don't take forever to use lots of um, equipment and things. Right, now the last part is, and this is where it would differ. <clears throat> if this is my day cream. It is glasses on Nivea Q10 anti wrinkle 60 plus extra nose replenishing day cream and it's got an SPF of 15 in it. Now I used to always use the Liz Earl Neurolean something super skin. It's a lovely cream. Obviously, it doesn't have any SPF or anything in it. It is a lovely cream, but it used to keep the, the skin reasonably moisturised, but for the money I just thought I'm going to look for something else. Anyway, this came on off the somewhere, and this is my second pot, and I do love it. As you can see, it's nearly gone off the end of the one upstairs. I just bought them on offer in Sainsbury's, and this is my day cream. Now, if this was night time and I was going to bed, I wouldn't put the eye cream on and I wouldn't put obviously the deer cream on. I wouldn't put the serum on. I will put this on, I do like this. This is Liz Earl Super Concentrate for Night. Yeah. I absolutely Rose hip seed, avocado, and argan oils. And I will just put a couple of pumps in my hands, breathe it in, and on my face. And because the sea through the night is when your body and your skin and everything repairs itself while you're sleeping. So that's what I would do on a night. Um, I might do a little nighttime routine because what I'm going to add in was ages ago I got these little like different rollers from the body shop that you do on and I've had them used on the face shop a few times and they feel lovely and the same you should use them on a night when you're putting oil on because this is like quite like like an oil so I might um have a go at that and if I get proficient at it or I'm enjoying it or whatever I might make a little another little video about nighttime routine 
Um, the only thing I would do different now is if I know that's got an SPF 15 in it, but if it was absolutely red hot like it's been, I would put some of this on and it's the Nivea um, 48 hour moisture 50 plus. I've got the windows and I don't need any more and I need my skin protection from the sun, which we never did when we were young. You know, I remember going on holiday in the south of France and taking charge of coconut oil, you know, sniffing it on your body. But never mind, that's another story. So that, folks, is my um, daytime skincare routine. Now, I'm going to add on at the end of this, I treated myself. Before I had my asthma, I treated myself to a lovely facial at Dax. Now I think they do crystal clear facials down there. I'll just check on in a second. Put it somewhere. I'm sure it's crystal clear. Yes, crystal clear um, facials. Very nice. They do ones that, you know, a, a bit more what I call industrial. Where they have, um, you know, frozen facials, use equipment and things like that. But I just wanted like a hands on facial, but the crystal facial. And the one I got was camera ready. I should be so lucky, but I got the camera ready one. Um, and I was facial, and it was lovely. So, what I'm going to do is, after this, I'm going to put in, I did take a little clip of going, going down to Dax and. Uh, I'll just, I'll just slot that in at the end. So I hope you've enjoyed this little video about my morning skincare routine. If you enjoyed it and you'd like to see a bit more, thumbs up for the likes, subscribe and click that notification button and I will be back with some more routines and little videos for everyone. Okay, take care everyone. Bye. since I've had one I really can't wait so I'll see you at the other side bye I'm fine I'm all ready to go come on in and I'm looking a bit like the regular Hesperus but I've had a fabulous facial thanks to the lovely Kaylee and her magic hands I would definitely recommend if you can if you can afford it save up or whatever to have a facial because it does make your skin feel fabulous and it's it's really relaxing